Hello and welcome to Crypto Bible. My name is Oliver Tompkins and in today's episode we're going to be taking a look at Bitcoin in the bearish market, all the news with Ukraine and Russia and what's really happening. I've got a couple of articles that I want to go through together that we can have a chat about but before we get stuck into it go ahead throw me a like, get yourself subscribed to the channel and turn on the notification bell icon. Ding! Right, first things first, let's go into coin market cap and find out what the market's doing. Okay, here we go. Coin market cap, top three trending coins. We've got Atletico de Madrid fan token, Meta NFT, and Meta Planet. Biggest gainers, Australian crypto coin green, Doge Rise Up, and Meta Dragon City. Coming down, looking at the top six, I can see here. Bitcoin's actually up 3.38% 24 hours ago. Trading at $38,888. Ethereum nearly at 5% up, trading at $2,713. BNB up 4.1%, $380 trading at. XRP up 4.21%, trading at 73 cents. Solana nearly on 7%, $91 there. Terra Luna nearly 13.5% there. Uh, raise AVAX Avalanche as well. 12.3%, $80. Any other 8% on Polygon, 95 on Crowcoin. A few others. Cosmos, nearly 7%. Okay, right. And Mana, 8.3%. Okay, right. Let's jump in to the first article. First article is from Decrypt. Blockchain data shows Bitcoin in a bear market. Here is what's coming next. On-chain data now confirms what crypto traders have known for some time. Bitcoin is in a prolonged bear market, says Glassnode. Bitcoin may be in for a sustained bear market to blockchain. According to blockchain analytics from Glassnode, with the price of Bitcoin well now below $40,000, the firm's latest market report cites a number of bearish headwinds, including falling on-chain activity on the Bitcoin network, and over 4.7 million BTC now held at an unrealized loss. According to the report, the downturn for both the crypto market and traditional equities is a reflection of a broader market uncertainty surrounding looming interest rates, hikes by the Fed, conflict in Ukraine and civil unrest in Canada, the latter of which has resulted in the freezing of bank accounts and Bitcoin funds of those participating in ongoing convoy protests in Ottawa. Meanwhile, the Federal Reserve has been threatening to raise interest rates for months in an effort to combat record inflation impacting the US economy. Higher interest rates hurt investor confidence for investing in risk assets, which Bitcoin tends to correlate with. Given Bitcoin's prolonged downtrend, Glassnode researchers now say that it has a higher likelihood of staying down. The longer the investors are underwater on their position, and the further they fall into an unrealized loss, the more likely those held coins will be spent and sold, the report reads. At the moment, over 25% of all network entities are in a negative position. The number of active Bitcoin addresses sat at about 275,000 this week compared to over 350,000 in January of last year. Weak network activity is interpreted as a bear market signal though the number of dedicated holders continues growing long term. Nevertheless, Glassnode found that 219,000 addresses had been emptied over the last 30 days. This, mar this may mark a period of net outflows of users from the network, like in May 2021. So, what comes next? Glassnode's report concludes that crypto bulls have their work cut out for them, given the numerous on-chain and off-chain bearish forces that they are currently up against. However, compared to previous bear markets, supply-side dynamics look relatively optimistic. Long-term investors appear more likely to cling to their Bitcoin using derivatives to hedge risk rather than selling their direct asset exposure, says the firm. It looks like a bear market, states Glassnode, but do keep in mind that longer term, the bear authors, the bull that follows. Despite the hopeful outlook, investors who purchased anywhere near the top may be feeling less optimistic at the moment. Bitcoin is now down nearly 45% from its all-time high at $69,000. And if you are interested 
in Bitcoin and the price move and the market and looking at some of the technical analysis. Be sure to check out my market update with Elliot Rain. It's on our channel. We do one every week and it's a great insight. Me and Elliot will have a little chat, find out what the market's doing. We also talk about top coins to look out for and some NFT chat, some metaverse chat and a few other little bits and bobs that's happening in the market. So if you do want to see and you want to listen to an expert in this field that talks about Bitcoin and, and the levels and the technical analysis, then it's a great episode to, to tune into. So hit subscribe, turn on the notification bell and you'll never miss one of those episodes. Right, let's get into the second piece of the article. Okay, so this is from the independent.co.uk. This is a Bitcoin price news live and it's updated seven hours ago. So crypto spiraling amid Russia and Ukraine tensions. So geopolitical tensions appear to have killed off a strong Bitcoin recovery, which saw gains of more than $10,000 for the crypto in the, in the first half of Feb. The price of Bitcoin has fallen below $37,000 on Tuesday, making a 15% drop over the last seven days. The downtrend was mirrored by other leading cryptos, including Ethereum, Binance Coin, Ripple and Cardano, which all have fallen between 15 to 20% mid-feb. The losses saw the overall crypto market shrink by around $350 million in just over a week. And analysts are warning that continued tensions between Ukraine and Russia could see Bitcoin and other cryptos spiral. So what the independent do, uh, do here, they have like a bit of a timeline, a bit of a history. So we'll go through the key points and then they go back through a time frame of what leading up to, you know, why Bitcoin has dropped. Uh, you can follow all the latest Bitcoin price news on crypto market uh, in our live blog below, which we'll go through. We'll be posting in-depth market analysis from the industry uh, with, as well as expert predictions for 2022 and beyond. Thank you very much, Independent. We'll look out for that. So key points, crypto market set for $10 trillion earthquake. So seven hours ago, Bitcoin, Ether, Rise, Cardano surges, Bitcoin's grown about 2% in the last 24 hours. We had a little look before we started this video, didn't we? It was around 38,000. Um, but the leading currency is still below 38,000, it says seven hours ago. But down by nearly 15% last week. Ethereum has also grown in the last day by over a percent. But it's also down 70% compared to its seven-day uh, value seven days earlier. Other altcoins, including Solana, Cardano, have surged from by 4 to 6% in the last day but they're still down compared to their values a week earlier. Main coins, Doge and its spin-off Sheeb have also grown one to 3% in the last 24 hours. The overall crypto market has grown by around 2% in the last day and is valued at $1.71 trillion. And then we go back again 21 hours ago. More crypto market reaction to Ukraine and Russia. We heard from Nicholas Corley, a strategist uh, finance portal, Daily FX who has more to say about Ukraine's attitude towards Bitcoin and what this might mean for the broader crypto market. He said, the Russia-Ukraine crisis is affecting all risk markets at the moment, not just Bitcoin. The news flow from region is seemingly biased from both sides. While the constant swings in good news, bad news makes it difficult to value and trade the market at current time. Until this changes, it's difficult to see any reason to trade Bitcoin from either the long or the short side. From a tech perspective, the break below the support of 39.6K has left Bitcoin vulnerable to further losses. This negative outlook is also backed up by the market's take on recent news. Good news. Recent news that Ukraine is in the process of legalizing Bitcoin, uh, the fidelity launch of Bitcoin ETP in Europe. Now, we did do an article yesterday or the day before about uh, Ukraine legalizing uh, Bitcoin. Um, so... It looks like Bitcoin is going to continue to drift sideways with marginal bias to the downside until the conflict in Eastern Europe is resolved. So there you have it. What are your views on the whole Russia-Ukraine situation at the moment and Bitcoin? Are you still bullish on Bitcoin? Have you sold and have you moved your assets into something else? Maybe there's another coin that you're bullish on. Let me know all your thoughts down below in the the comments. It's, it would be interesting to see what happens with this Russia-Ukraine situation soon and hopefully it won't um, 
to go on too long, but we don't really know what's going on. We can only look at the news and see what's happening. But I'd love to know your thoughts. Let me know in the comments down below. As always, throw me a like, get yourself subbed, and hit that notification bell icon on Shating, so you never miss any of our episodes. Once again, thanks for joining me for today's episode, and I'll see you on the next one.